Thank you for joining us today from the Jim Moss Center for Nursing at Jackson State Community College. We're excited to have you with us and this brief presentation will walk you through getting ready to apply for Jackson State's LPN to RN program. We've had the privilege to graduate over 2,000 nurses from 1992. Our program is 28 years old. Um, students take an exam called the NCLEX at the end of our, of our one year program to be able to be licensed and the pass rates for the last four years are posted for you. They range between 95 to 100 percent. Um, in the entire program, we have not had NCLEX pass rates less than 90 percent. Jackson State graduates in nursing enjoy many careers in numerous disciplines in nursing, including community health, uh, going on to become nurse practitioners, travel nurses, bedside nurses, and teaching as well. For the LPN to RN track program, the program is a one year fast track which runs from May to May. Students should expect a Monday through Friday schedule. We are able to accept 24 students per year and the estimated total cost of the entire program is about $17,000. This would include tuition, clinical requirements like background checks, um, drug screens, books, uniforms, all those kinds of things that students would need in order to participate in the program. Our application deadline is February 1st, 2021 each year. And so students that wanted to apply for the summer 2021 program would apply February 1st or have to apply by February 1st. Here's a look at our curriculum for the one year fast track LPN program. Students start with Nursing Transitions 1, which is taught usually in May Mester, which is three weeks in May. And then they continue with Nursing Transitions 2, which takes the rest of the summer. In the fall semester, students enroll in Adult Nursing 1, and they finish in the spring semester with Adult Nursing 2. How do you apply to the LPN to RN track program? First of all, every student has to meet college admissions requirements for Jackson State, just like students would in any other discipline. And so you would contact the college's admissions office to find out what the requirements to start college would be for you. If you are required to do so, students must also complete learning support courses, they must be complete in order to apply for our program. The admissions office for the college could also let you know if you would be required to do so. Our GPA requirement in nursing is 2.50, which is basically halfway between a B and a C. That is calculated in the nursing division using all college courses, not just courses taught at Jackson State. Of course, going into the LPN to RN track program, you already have an LPN license. Your TCAT work is not used, but college level work is used. The test that is used for the Jackson State Nursing uh, and as an admissions test is called the National ACT. It must be less than five years old and it's required for all applic applicants regardless of background. So every student applying to nursing has to have an ACT that's valid. And of course you must apply by the application deadline, which is February 1st. Prerequisites to start the program, let's go over those. There are six classes that students have to have by the end of the spring 2021 semester in order to apply February 1st, 2021 to start the program in the summer. Students can be enrolled in these at Jackson State in the spring, but they must be completed by the end of the spring semester. They are English Composition 1, 
anatomy and physiology one, that's what AMP one is. Anatomy and physiology two, that must be dated summer 2016 or later. Introduction to human pathophysiology dated summer 2016 or later. Students must also um, have completed or be completing at this time their, uh, excuse me, psychology requirements, which are lifespan psychology and general psychology. So a student can apply from the prerequisite course perspective if they can complete these six classes by the end of spring 2021. There are two more classes that are required for the nursing program. They're not required to start, but they are required as uh, part of the program. And they are Introduction to Communications or English Composition One. Students would choose one of those uh, from those two courses and also one humanities course. There are 23 classes at Jackson State that would meet that requirement. Nursing students only have to have one. Our faculty recommend that if a student has the opportunity that they get these two classes out of the way, either Introduction to Communications or English Comp, and that One Humanities course as soon as possible so that they can focus on the nursing curriculum. Students can earn bonus points by completing these classes by the end of the fall 2020 term. Medical terminology will earn a student a half a point toward admission to the nursing program and career, excuse me, college to career navigation will earn a student a quarter of a point. So if a student had the opportunity to take these, this would add to the bonus um, these bonus points would add to their opportunity to accumulate points. As we mentioned previously, Jackson State Nursing uses the National ACT as our admissions test. Um, that test must be dated March 1st, 2016 or later. If a student needs to take the test, there are two more opportunities, December the 12th and February 6th. The nursing program uses the best uh, subscores in the four sections. So, and those sections are English, math, science reasoning, and reading. So let's say, for example, a student took both of these tests. We would use the higher English, the higher math score, the higher science reasoning score, and the higher reading score. Even though the application deadline is February 1st, Jackson State Nursing will use the February 6th, 2021 ACT. Be sure you turn in your nursing application by February 1st. Because of COVID-19, periodically check actstudent.org for testing changes because there have been some and of course there may be some in the future. The ACT is 90% of admission, that portion of the formula, for nursing, so we definitely recommend that you prepare for this and use whatever resources work for you. Here is a list of partial resources for you, but we encourage the student to use those resources that are better for them. Um, please prepare for the test because for nursing admissions, it's 90% of admission. Here we're sharing with you the nursing admissions scoring. Um, the English part of the ACT is 20%, the math is 20%, the reading is 30%, the science is 20%. So that's a total of 90% as we talked about a moment ago. Your cumulative or overall GPA is 10%. As we let you know previously, students can earn points by completing medical terminology, which it will earn you a half a point and college to career navigation, which will earn you a quarter of a point. If you are a resident of Jackson State's 14 county service area and can prove that through driver's license or other means, that also earns you a, a, a quarter of a point. Students can have up to six points for admission scoring. To dive deeper into nursing admissions as far as the ACT and, and the GPA and how these things are weighted, if a student has 17 on any section of the ACT, 
English, math, reading, or science. They don't earn any points, but starting at 18, they start to earn points toward admission. Remember, the ACT is 90%. On the GPA side, of course, students have to have a 2.50 cumulative GPA, but they start to earn points toward admission at 2.750. Um, so of course, and that is 10%. So of course, the higher your ACT, excuse me, the higher your GPA, the more points you can accumulate. If a student has less than 17 on any area of the ACT, then 0 0.50 is taken off the total score. We wanted to be sure to share information about the hepatitis B series. It must be completed to start nursing school and be able to do clinical. So if you have not already started that series, hepatitis B, please get started as soon as possible. Uh, it is a clinical requirement to be able to go to your clinical agency. You will have time to meet all other clinical requirements. You will have time to do that and we will introduce you to those requirements starting um, in your orientation to nursing. Thank you for taking the time to um, listen to this PowerPoint. We hope that it's been helpful for you because the goal of it is to give you some preliminary information so that you can be, use that for advising or to find out about the program. We are more than happy to answer questions that you may have. Um, appointments are available by phone and advising by phone as well. So please let us know what we can do to help, your, help you uh, succeed in your nursing journey.